What? Miyagi Do Karate. Good or bad for self defense? Today we are discussing the training methods and strategy of Miyagi Do Karate from the Karate Kid movie and Clover Kai Netflix series. If you are new here, I am Ma'am Cheryl along with Master Jonathan, and we are the founders of Empowered. We strive to help women and young girls build confidence and build their inner strength through defense and empowerment training. Unlike Clover Kai's model of strength first, strength hard, and no mercy, Miyagi no Karate is more of a passive traditional self-defense or martial arts style where they never strike first. They always rely on defense. But is it really good for practicing yourself or protecting yourself? I'd say yes, in the sense that they are not going out looking for trouble or starting fights, which we strongly discourage. They rely on good defense techniques like blocks and evading to avoid attacks before throwing any type of counter strikes. I agree with you there, but do you think there's a small issue with this approach? Actually, yes. If you depend on defense only, you are assuming certain things are going to happen. You assume that you know exactly what attacks are going to happen and at which parts of your body they are being thrown at. If you are wrong, you are going to be hit, grabbed, or thrown to the ground. You also assume that you are faster than you are sailing, both in physical speed of movement and in reaction time. Something I would bet on. For sure. Reaction time is probably one of the most important factors. Or you have to react to their attacks with the right timing and with the right techniques. Something that is hard to do if you are always on defense. Real fighting and self-defense situations are chaotic. It is hard to react in the right way in the heat of the moment, especially if you are caught off guard, which most likely you will be. Miyagi Do Karate spends a lot of time training the same movements over and over again in various katas and training drills, which is good because it develops muscle memory so you respond correctly without thinking. Plus, it's good for your physical fitness and mental health. If you have watched some of Mam Cheryl and I's sparring video, you will know that Mam Cheryl uses some traditional techniques of sparring. She simply modifies them to work for her in a sparring situation and without thinking about them offensively and defensively. She has developed the muscle memory to allow her to do so while training dynamically or freestyle. Combining both defensive and offensive fighting strategies is a more balanced approach to self-defense and modern and traditional martial arts training. So training in a way that allows you to develop your skillful offensively and defensively at the same time will only help you improve your self-defense skill just like hitting that subscribe button before it has a chance to take you. <laughs> so take the Miyagi-Do Karate philosophy of martial arts. It's for defense only and remember ladies you have the right to defend yourself and you are worth defending.